515 now on your Sunday. Temperature is hitting the mid 60s as you head out the door and those wind speeds nice and light. So if you want to get in maybe some early morning walks, that's going to be the best time to avoid some gusty wind we expect later this afternoon. Meantime, highs today continue to land about 15 degrees or so above average for this time of year. So that lands us in the low 90s for Las Vegas. Triple digits expected for spots like Laughlin and Death Valley. Pahrump in the upper 80s. As you head out the door, you'll see those wind speeds starting to pick up closer to around 10 a.m. as we land in the low 80s for those late morning hours. Again, gust up to 30 miles per hour possible today with those southwest winds sustained right around 10 to 25 miles per hour. Allergy forecast not looking good. We have high pollen levels today all the way through Tuesday. So if you're sniffling and sneezing, of course, springtime in Las Vegas is the culprit there. Evening planner, you're going to see those clear conditions expected through 6 o'clock clock into the overnight hours as temperatures take a tumble back into the low 70s by around midnight, waking up to the mid 60s once again tomorrow. But if you're wanting to get outside today, oh, be on the lookout for windy conditions, especially for those higher elevation spots. Mount Charleston going to see those temperatures landing in the low 60s by around noontime under lots of sunshine. But again, we're watching those sustained winds up to 20 to 25 miles per hour and gusty conditions also expected near Lake Mead. So that could create some choppy conditions out on the water. This is more of a nuisance wind than anything, but something to be aware of if you have some smaller boats or some rafts out on the water. Upper 80s by around noontime, landing closer to the mid 90s by this afternoon near those lower elevation spots. But we are on a roller coaster ride of temperatures in the next couple of days. From today, landing at 91 degrees, upper 70s on Sunday, Monday. We have a cold front dropping into our region tonight. And that's why we're dealing with the wind. So that ushers in that cool down. But Monday is going to be very windy. And that's what's dropping us down into the low 60s on Tuesday. So we're going to be watching this. We have a high wind watch in place for Monday for now. That could also lead to some blowing dust and just overall uh, difficult conditions out on the roadways. Breezy conditions continue on Tuesday and you'll see those temperatures starting to rebound closer to the mid 70s by Friday.